third question about the embryological development that is post embryonic development in human it is asked the morphogenetic movement changes the hollow spherical blastula into a you know that a zygote is formed after that a cleavage is occurring means rapid cell division that is called a cleavage then it converted to 4 8 so like a uh, significant structure that is 8 to 16 celled structure is called uh, morula so that process is called a morulation and if this is zygote the most significant and first step in the development of embryo is called morula then morula undergo another changes that is again uh, divided into mm, numerous cells the process of such a division cell division is called is a fast not like a normal cell division this kind of cell division faster cell division that is called actually cleavage so after repeated cleavage you know that zygote is converted into 8 to 16 cell structure called morula that process is called morulation after that it is converted into blastula otherwise called blasto cyst because cyst containing blastula then what happens after that you know that it is converted into a triple layered structure means three layered structure that is outer layer ectoderm you know that some of the important structures like skin epidermis nervous system all are derivative of ectoderm layer and the second layer some important structures like uh, you know connective tissue and notochords and gonads all are derived from embryologically from you know that mesoderm and why this ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm is called primordial germinal layers because the germination process happening in this and you know that the, the innermost layer is called the endoderm from where you know some glands glands are uh, digestive glands are embryologically um, derived from this e endoderm but ectoderm i told you skin epidermis and neural system all are derived from uh, ectoderm and these triple layered structure during the development of embryo these triple layered structure is formed this is called actually gastrula and the process usually you know gastrulation and the term here is used in the question is like a morphogenetic movement what is morphogenetic movement the rearrangement the rearrangement of cells in the early embryological stage is called a morphogenetic movement so after cleavage and morphogenetic movement you know that blastocyst convert into gastrula that process is called gastrulation then goes through the question the morphogenetic movement changes the hollow spherical blastula into a morula gastrula neurula embryonic disc and trophectoderm this are the option so the answer will be what you know gastrula because after blastocyst gastrula is formed then what is trophectoderm you know that after the gastrulation you know again the cells undergo morphogenetic movement then what happens rearrangement of cells results in uh, inner cellular mass inner cell mass formation and here a cavity occupies inner cell mass and outer trophectoderm so this is called trophectoderm and inner this is called inner cell mass trophectoderm converted into extra embryonic membrane including placenta and inner cell mass converted into embryo in this way the uh, development of embryo happens so obviously understood outer trophectoderm become extra embryonic membrane that includes amnion chorion yolk sac and allantois and inner part become inner cell mass that is uh, you know converted into embryo so in this way the rearrangement happens so the answer here is b